Hey guys, we're back with my official manga collection. So this one's a little tougher to record since I just got a new camera. I'm learning a lot of new things, but you know what? I'm gonna do my best. So I'm gonna try and show as much art as I can without YouTube, you know, bonking me on the head. Uh, let's get right into it. All right, so from left to right, we have Drifting Classrooms, which is a really good horror thriller monster and then master keaton now these are all three kind of not my prized possessions but they're almost the most beautiful so i keep them on the top right shelf of all three bookcases um honestly i love them all three fantastic reads can't wait to get more keaton oh boy second shelf is naruto now this oh my god this is my favorite series that I own. Everything on the shelf is is top tier. This this set is so pretty, so gorgeous, amazing omnibuses. Uh, just all around my favorite edition of Naruto I've ever found. It's my favorite manga and anime. And honestly, this just sits here and I stare at it for way too long. Really way too long. And if y'all don't like Naruto or haven't watched it or tried it, y'all sleeping on the OG. This stuff brought so many people back from Tsunami and all those old, late-running animes. Oof, this this brought about as much people as I've met as Dragon Ball did. Like, th this is... This is one of the goats. So on this shelf we have Kenshin, pretty standard samurai. I only have five, six, and seven of the big omnibuses. They're a little harder to find. I don't feel like sinking a lot of cash. Uh, All You Need Is Kill, great one-shot series by Obata. Uh, and then you have Blood of the Immortal, also one of the pinnacle samurai, old-fashioned style, but they're getting a little bit harder to find, especially number seven, looking at you. Then we have Planetess, just a masterpiece. Uh, and just moving right along, we have No Guns Life, 1 through 6. Love this series, picked it up recently, and really can't stop waiting for the next ones. I'm, I'm checking the dates every time. And at the very end was Beastars, number 1. And on this shelf, we have the One Piece Omnibuses. Now, before you shoot me in the back of the head execution style, I actually like these. Uh, I think they look great, and honestly, I love it when the set's complete, how it all looks in one big row. God knows if I'll get there anytime soon. Next is Reborn. Uh, I picked these up in a local bookstore. I don't remember much about the series when I read it a long time ago, but just these covers are so beautiful I had to pick them up. Honestly, that says a lot about my personality and my spending habits. On this shelf, we have Claymore, the whole box set. I think it's 1 through 27. Honestly, Savage series. I love it. I love its dark tones. I love the main girl character. She's amazing. Beautiful enemy designs. Amazing world building. Just super overall clean series. And it, it gets slept on a little bit. And then moving on, we have Shaman King, only one through six. It's the best I could find with not wanting to spend too much money because the reprints coming out, I want to see how those are. But I mean, just look at them. They're gorgeous. I, I want the whole series in singles so bad. I love the logos on the side. I love the neon color choices. It's just, it's, it's bold and it's beautiful. On this shelf, we have Black Torch. It's a one through five, almost like a little one-off. It, it didn't last long, apparently, in Japan, but it's a nice little read, and it's not too expensive to pick up, either on Amazon or write stuff. And uh, obviously, Best Girl Bias, look at her. She's freaking cute. Moving on, Prince of Tennis, honestly, a, probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite sports manga and anime. It's just, it's great. I, I don't have everything I would like to, but finding them is a little annoying. And then moving on, we have a couple side stories for Naruto, Samurai 8, and Boruto. Now, if you like Naruto and you do not like Boruto, you're probably watching the anime, which is top tier trash. The manga is so good. Honestly, it's pretty close to the original in terms of score for me. I, I love it. Moving on is Bakuman. Now this is also one of my favorite animes. It was just so good. I haven't read the manga. I picked up 1 through 20 missing around, I think 5 between 14 and 19. 
uh, used. I'll have to pick those up later. And then Q, which I haven't started, but I found this really nice deal for one through five for around 20 bucks. So hopefully I can get into that. Next, we have One Punch Man 1 through 20. Uh, I believe this is caught up, except maybe 21 might have come out while I wasn't looking, which would suck. Uh, Bleach volumes 1 through 12 in four omnibus formats. I want the box sets, but they're expensive. Jujutsu Kaisen 1 through 4 and Twin Star Exorcist 1 through 10. This goes to, I believe, 22 in Japan. I will be picking up the rest. At the bottom right, we have Food Wars 1, 2, and 3. I believe this goes to around 40, and we'll be picking that up hopefully soon. Uh, and all of Yu Yu Hakusho, which is honestly just one of the goats as well. It's just, it's great. Pick it up. So, getting rather low to the ground, on the second to last shelf, we got Toradora 1 through 8. I believe I'm missing two. Witchcraft Works 1 through 4. Kuma Miko 1 through 4. And Mysterious Girlfriend 1 through 3. None of these are complete that I know of, but I'll be working on that. Following that, we have Rosario Vampire Season 1. And I believe 80% of season two. I think I'm missing a couple volumes here and there, but they're not too hard to pick up. Then we have Mason Ikaku, honestly one of the best just romances in general by Rumiko. We have My Monster Secret, which is also one of the best romances and it's just all around hilarious. Onto the final shelf of the second bookcase, we have Negima, which is incomplete. I'm gonna try to get the omnibuses sometime soon. We have Witchbuster 1 through all the way 18, except for 11 and 12. That volume is around a hundred plus dollars, and I don't think it's worth it unless I can find it cheap. And then on the top, we have some scattered volumes of Cage of Eden. Starting off the last bookcase, we have a bride story. This is just a masterpiece of art, storytelling, cuteness, romance, history drama it just it, it's it's wonderful it's honestly one of my favorites in my collection just the doubles page spreads the art the intricacy the perspective it's just all so warming and just honestly beautiful Next, we have Servant X Service, which is just a cute four comma. I have both volumes one and two completed. Rental Girlfriend, which is also volume one. Watakoi, Love is Hard for an Otaku. It's a wonderful little slice of life romance. Arakawa Under the Bridge one and After the Rain. Arakawa Under the Bridge is honestly one of my favorite little rom-coms that is a lot more heavy on comedy and it's just generally the most outlandish hilarity that you'll read. But with all that fun, it also has a lot of heart-touching moments, and it really is just a beautiful manga. Next up, we have Kimi ni Todake, honestly one of the, my favorites. They're just so cute. Both of these, both couples that are in this are just absolutely adorable just sweet characters overall just lovable situations and it really hits home with me I, th I think it's one of the best friendships and romances that's that's been around for a while i say that a lot don't i just look at them they're so cute together they're literally perfect tell me wrong fight me i'll fight you next we have yona of the dawn one two and three i know i'm slacking on this series i want it so bad and just the covers are gorgeous and I expect to be picking up a lot more later on. After that we have 1 through 4 of Zombie Powder and 1 through 5 of Radiant, both really good series. Next up is Fushigi Yugi by Yu Watase. This is just a beautiful classic styled romance with a bunch of just overall gorgeous art. It's just got that 80s vibe to it that's just beautiful. It's wonderful. Vizbig did a really good job with these releases. Usually Vizbigs are a little spotty, but these so far have been absolutely just immaculate. I think they did a really good job. After that is just an absolute juggernaut to me in the series. 
for anything fantasy in Rumiko at all is Renee. Renee is one of my all-time favorites for a long time. The anime has some of the best openings in the game. It's just a beautiful series. It's still coming out in English. Sadly, it's not done yet. I'm waiting till it's done to pick up the last. But it's just got that classic Rumiko feel with just her beautiful fantasy just situations and designs and it's just overall wonderful. First up is I Am A Hero Omnibuses 1 and 2. These are really about all I can find locally and sometimes online. It's a really good zombie story and I just love the post-apocalyptic setting. The main character has done really well. My only gripe is the availability and the fact that they're smaller than most series. Next up is Blame and Knights of Sidonia, both beautiful additions by Vertical. It's, they're just two great sci-fi series, and if you don't have them, I would advise picking them up. Even Boogie Snacks recommends the second one. Do it. Next up after that is Full Metal Alchemist, the, I believe, the Full Metal Editions, I think is what they're called. I have one through nine so far. The rest need to be ordered, and they're just, they're beautiful. They're literally the best editions for Full Metal. End of story. If, if, you, if you want the series and you don't buy this, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Because these are just amazing. They're worth everything. After that is Sig's release of Levius, which is a wonderful one-off. It's technically a prequel because Levius Est comes right after it and continues the series, but this is a great standoff if all you want is one quick punch. Levius is a really good sci-fi to do that with. After that is Kadansha's Vinland Saga, which is just absolutely beautiful, surprisingly cheap for the hardback editions you get, and the art, story, and everything is just amazing, and I've heard that the anime is also just as amazing. First up, we have Death Note Black Editions 1, 2, 3, and 4. I pick these up used at most. It's not really one of my favorite series, but I know exactly what it holds for most of the community, so I try to pick it up. Next is Drifting Dragons 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'm going to let the B-roll go of all of the covers I have so far, just because they're all phenomenal. Also, here's something super satisfying. Next up is One Week Friends. This is just a, an absolute cry fest. If you like crying, I recommend it. If you don't, don't read it. It's super sweet, super wholesome. Just it, the whole premise is just depressing yet beautiful and just it's wonderful. I, I can't put it into words how cute the series is, how emotional the series gets, and how wonderful each of the characters are. Next up is Dogs, Bullets and Carnage. This series is just absolutely savage and the art is just super unique and I love it. Up next, we have Clamp's RG Veta, My the Psychic Girl 1 through 4, and Crying Freeman number 1. The art from this series is just absolutely incredible. I do not understand how he draws this good. It blows my mind, and the fact that this little series is slept on even for the art alone is astounding. And after this, it's Parasite 1 and 2, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist number 1. And this at the end is just Kamikaze, Kurogane, 1 to 3 of Heroes Tales, Lament of the Lamb, and right below it, Mad Love Chase, Takeru, and of course, 1 through 13 of Dian Angel. This is technically the end of my manga, so we're going to shoot over to my last bookcase, which is just full of normal literature.
Yeah, you could say I like James Patterson. Thank you for sticking around to the whole video, and hopefully you guys liked it. I might do this sometime, probably next year when I have a decent change in my collection, but until then, peace out.